For many of us growing up in the 80s, racing an iconic race car was just a dream. But one man turned that dream into a reality. This is the ex Henny van der Linde GTX Skyline, a car that absolutely dominated the competition in its heyday. And I'm about to drive it. With over 56 consecutive race wins and multiple championships, it's one of the most successful South African race cars of all time. But before I do, let's chat to the now owner, Kerry Blows, about his iconic collectible race car. I'm standing with the owner of the stunning car, Kerry Blows over here. And Kerry, geez, this car, every Cape Townian has seen a car like this growing up. But this specific one is the one that people know, talk about, it's the Annie Van der Linde Skyline. Absolutely, yes. Um, the um, original Van der Linde Skyline, mm. a West Bank icon mm. of the 80s. We yeah. grew up watching West Bank racing and yeah. yeah, luckily enough, we have it now yeah. in our stable. And I mean, it's just amazing. And the fact that you've offered to let, you tell me, do you want to come drive yeah. it one day? I was I like, did. <laughs> <laughs> did he mean that? Yeah. And now years later, yeah. here we are. And uh, it's just incredible. You've now also got the Golden Grove car. But I let's do. start at the beginning. I grew up in Grassy Park as well, on the Cape Flats, as, as so did yeah, you. I did, and there yes. was a guy named Sharif, Rifi as the Cape Tonians like to call him, that used to be involved in the races back in the day. Yes. And he had a car called the Pepsi Datsun back, yes. back in the day. That car sparked so much interest for kids like me and you. Absolutely. And I understand that was one of the starts to your journey as well. Yes, absolutely. So, um, in the late 80s, I think I was in Standard 7, and I heard about this Pepsi and Indiana, and we just had to go and see it, you know? Our first evening going there, when this iconic car pulled up, everyone that was there surrounded, and of course I saw this thin little guy known as Riffy Pepsi, and um, they discussed what they were gonna do that evening, obviously racing on the into. They then left, and there was a mobile gas station on the service road. They went around the corner there. There were guys taking off the wipers, I remember, and they took out the silver can. And I thought, wow, we had the gas station and you have this magic fuel. It obviously was a one or two racing fuel. And then they set off on that particular night. I think Sharif rode six or seven times down the end to beating all and sundry. And yeah. we were hooked. Mm. I then became friends with him. I used to work with him and help him on cars. He built the engine for my first 140Z. And yeah, it's just never stopped. Is it really true that this car won 56 races in a row and was pretty much unstoppable back in its day? Absolutely. Um, as anyone can attest to that, um, it was a Class B car that Henny van der Linde was on the tail of the Class A cars. Willie Hepburn in that say that animal, Ben Morgenroot in the RX-7 and the late Tony Viana. And Uncle Henny was right behind him in the Class B car. He was unbeatable in his class. Yeah. I didn't know until right now that it's got yeah. dry sump technology, it's yeah. got dog leg gearbox, it's yeah. got all these little things. Yeah. But in your mind, what are the three things that make this car so special? This car for me is entirely special just because of the history of our history, not just for what we've done, but for us as little kids. Mm. But I reckon it was way ahead of its time for what it had. Who was using a dry sum system then, you know? Who was using a Nissan Motorsport Option 1 gearbox, which most people don't even know about, you know? And um, I think this car is just special. There's no particular area that I can say is better than the other. It's just a well put together car and Henny van der Linde done a phenomenal job that we can still use this car almost 30 years later and we use it on the circuit. I didn't even know what the gearbox was, this yeah. option one that you speak yeah. of. This is all special, special stuff under the bonnet of this car. But I think that's enough talking for now. Let's go out on the track. I'm going to drive, still can't believe it. And let's see what the Henny van der Linde GTX is like out on the circuit. Thanks, Oslo. 
starting to squeak a little bit now. <laughs> The car that I'm driving over here was probably driven a lot better than I just did and a lot faster by all of those that went before me. But I managed to get a taste of what that history was like. And man, it tasted good. What an incredible experience. I'm so feeling it and I think it's going to take me some time to be able to describe exactly what this car is like. Special thanks to the team here that made this possible and keep watching All Things Motoring. See you guys soon. All Things Motoring is owned and brought to you by Change Cars, the platform buyers trust with good reason. Change Cars works exclusively with the best manufacturer-approved dealerships. There's no safer online vehicle platform in South Africa.